NASA's John C. Stennis Space Center in South Mississippi has tested propulsion systems for over 30 years. In the early 60s, Stennis tested the first and second stages of the Saturn V rocket, which later transported Americans to the moon. In the late 70s, the center was responsible for flight certifying the main propulsion system for the space shuttle. Today, Stennis Space Center plays a significant role in one of NASA's principal enterprises to engage in the human exploration and development of space. The Space Shuttle is the backbone of this initiative, and Stennis is responsible for all activities related to the development and flight certification testing for the Space Shuttle main engines, which power the shuttle during its first eight and one-half minutes of flight. Located near the beautiful Mississippi Gulf Coast, Stennis Space Center is one of NASA's four space flight centers. The center offers experienced, skilled personnel and state-of-the-art laboratories, a seven and one-half mile man-made canal system, and a 125,000 acre buffer zone, which is a national asset. Because of the center's excellent capabilities for testing, it has been designated as NASA's Center of Excellence for Large Propulsion Systems Testing. SSC is well prepared to test the propulsion system's hardware of the future. The newly constructed high heat flux facility will perform high temperature tests on materials for a hypersonic aircraft of the future, such as the National Aerospace Plane Program, a joint NASA DOD effort. NASP is a flight test vehicle that would take off like an airplane, fly into orbit at speeds of up to Mach 25, and return through the atmosphere to land on a runway. As mankind continues to explore and develop space, a new generation of cost-effective commercial launch vehicles will be required. Stennis Space Center will be prepared to test much of the advanced space propulsion hardware, beginning at the major rocket engine component level. SSC's state-of-the-art component test facility is a flexible three-celled ground test facility now in use, performing tests on rocket engines, hybrid rocket motors, and space vehicle system components. Stennis personnel are involved in a broad range of research and technology projects. These activities include the development of remote sensing technology, earth sciences research, associated data systems development, and technology transfer. Stennis Space Center is NASA's lead center for commercial remote sensing activities through such programs as the Visiting Investigator Program, Earth Observations Commercial Applications Program, Space Act Agreements, and the Commercial Remote Sensing Technology Initiative. These programs use a customer-focused approach to understand industry's need for remote sensing data, related geographic information, and advanced technologies to capture new information markets. SSC also provides the bridge between the small satellite technology program and the private sector. For commercial remote sensing applications, Stennis personnel also work on a wide range of science projects to better understand our planet, such as studying gases associated with the greenhouse effect and preserving tropical rainforests in Central America. Nearly 4,000 men and women make up the Stennis workforce, which includes 1,600 scientists and engineers. These highly skilled personnel are employed not only by NASA and its contractor team, but also by 22 other resident agencies at Stennis. The center is also unique in that all the agencies share common facilities, services, and capabilities so that each may accomplish its own mission at Stennis in a more cost-effective manner. More oceanographers work at Stennis than any other single location around the world. The Commander, Naval Meteorology and Oceanography Command heads a worldwide organization 
providing oceanographic, meteorological, and mapping, charting, and geodetic services to fleet forces operating in all oceans. Every Navy ship, submarine, and aircraft receives products and support services from this command. The Naval Oceanographic Office is the commander's largest single element. One of the world's most powerful Cray supercomputers is housed in their facilities at Stennis. The Naval Research Laboratory at SSC is the principal Navy laboratory performing oceanographic and atmospheric environmental research. The National Data Buoy Center, or NDBC, is an element of the National Weather Service under NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. NDBC at Stennis operates and maintains 104 oceanographic and meteorological data collection stations from the Bering Sea to the South Pacific. The data taken every hour are delivered to operational weather forecasters in less than 30 minutes. Another element of NOAA, the National Marine Fisheries Service, develops instruments for monitoring underwater performance of nets and associated fish behavior. The service also uses satellite technology to track endangered species and map environmental conditions in the Gulf of Mexico and elsewhere. The Department of Interior's U.S. Geological Survey provides federal agencies with hydrologic instrumentation service and support. It also provides water velocity meter calibrations for federal agencies and the private and public sectors. The USGS's Earth Science Information Center offers the public access to millions of aerial and satellite photographs, maps, and Earth Science publications. The Environmental Protection Agency's Environmental Chemistry Laboratory provides data to assist in monitoring and regulating America's pesticide use in the environment. The Gulf of Mexico program combines the efforts of federal and state agencies with industry and environmental representatives to develop a plan to protect, restore, and maintain the health of the Gulf. The Space Remote Sensing Center is dedicated to the development and commercialization of remote sensing and geographic information system technologies into the private and public sectors. Also located at Stennis is the deactivated Mississippi Army Ammunition Plant. Another integral part of the Stennis community is the Center of Higher Learning, which offers employees and local residents academic degree programs. Participating institutions include Mississippi State University, the University of Southern Mississippi, along with its Center for Marine Science, the University of New Orleans, and Pearl River Community College. NASA's Teacher Resource Center at Stennis offers hands-on workshops and a vast collection of free materials for K-12 educators, including videotapes, slides, computer software, lesson plans, and publications. Stennis Space Center also manages NASA's Tri-State Education Initiative, a demonstration project in support of the National Education Goals. Plans are to replicate this NASA education initiative with specialized programs tailored for other communities. Transferring NASA-developed technology is another primary focus of the space agency. Both Mississippi and Louisiana have technology transfer offices at Stennis. For over 30 years, Stennis Space Center has been a powerful partner in the economic development of Southern Mississippi and Louisiana. The multi-agency center creates jobs, increases local and state tax bases, and enhances business development opportunities. Equally significant are the center's efforts to be a good corporate citizen. Special emphasis has been placed on activities that support education. In addition to sponsoring Special Olympics, charity campaigns, and blood drives, Stennis employees have always enthusiastically served in their hometowns as scoutmasters, Sunday school teachers, chamber board members, and so forth. The doors to Stennis are always open to the public. The visitor center is a leading tourist attraction in the area, offering indoor and outdoor exhibits, tour guide presentations, movies and bus tours of the space shuttle main engine test complex. Today, some of the most powerful rocket engines and components are tested at Stennis Space Center. 
flight certification of space shuttle main engines will continue to be the centerpiece of SSC's mission. Because the shuttle is the most capable and efficient human transportation system to space available on Earth and a great source of national pride. The shuttle is also NASA's workhorse to deploy the space station. The space station will serve as a permanent laboratory where humans will pursue cutting edge science that will ultimately enhance life on Earth for future generations. As our country's leaders chart the future of our nation's space program, NASA's John C. Stennis Space Center stands ready to continue making significant contributions to those goals and to providing the American taxpayers a return on their investment in space.